the first time in U.S. and Australia history, a U.S. B-2 stealth bomber has landed here in Australia soil, a great testament to the strong relationship we have with our Australian brothers. Two of these Pacific Command strategic bombers, as well as two KC-10 refueling tankers, successfully finished the first U.S. Pacific Air Force's bomber training program here over the Australian outback in Darwin. The two B-2 bombers from the 13th Expeditionary Bomber Squadron are forward deployed right now in Guam and have an important mission towards the U.S.'s security. We're presently deployed here for 120 days out in the Pacific AOR here to help bolster, first off, commitment to the AOR and also for deterring and dissuading any potential enemies now and in the future and to try to have that presence that has a deterrence piece to it. And that's what we were doing in this AOR. Part of that is to go out and use the ranges of Australia and to work with the, the Aussies out there. It's also part of the fact that we're committed to that ally, and that shows the commitment piece to it by working hand-in-hand -hand and the interoperability piece that's so important between the services. Because day one of combat, you can't try to figure out the different interoperability pieces. You've got to be able to do it day one, and that's what we do it here when we're working together in the Delamere Range, which is part of Australia, on the ground in Darwin, when we're working hand-in-hand -hand on various different things, and the cultural piece that's so important. We come from a common heritage, we have a common threat, and we're working together as a team against that common threat. And that was the whole theme of the exercise that we went through. As a testimony to the effective weapons bombers can be, both B-2s left Guam, flew into Australian airspace, and dropped two 2,000-pound bombs at the Delamere Bombing Range in the Northern Territory. After dropping their payload, U.S. air-to-air -air refueling tankers from the 506th Expeditionary Air Refueling Squadron pumped some 120,000 pounds of fuel in mid-flight before the bombers made their way back to Guam, concluding their successful bombing run. Without the extra push from the air-to-air -air fuel tankers, the bombers could not have been as effective. And they provide that power piece that without them, we can't do any of this. And this particular group of KC-10s had both uh, active duty, and had reservists mixed together. So that total force piece was also a part of this operation, which is so important in the U.S. construct these days of how we use our forces. It's one team, it's a total force concept, and it's one fight. Training like this ensures that in times of crisis, the countries can seamlessly and rapidly operate together as needed to accomplish any mission. It's the way things are going, isn't it? You know, um, everybody has to work together. The, the way the climate of the world is at the moment, and, you know, we've been friends for long enough now, so there's no reason why that can't continue. We've got a, a perfectly good bombing range facility down there, so why not get some use out of it? You know, if there's space available to fit your blokes in, why not? It's good for us. Exposes our people to different aircraft types and different aircraft operations. Uh, plus, it's good training for your guys as well. So, yeah, more the merrier, I say, but that's just me. Once on the ground, the B-2 pilots and crews performed a running crew change and then took off to head back to Guam. This B-2 stealth bomber is leaving its mark as the first B-2 in history to touch Australian soil. And this first PACAF bomber training exercise will pave the way for more U.S. bombers in Australia. All this stems from a joint agreement signed last year by Australia and the United States, stating that the U.S. will begin regular strategic bomber aircraft training up here in the Northern Territory. They're calling it Exercise Green Lightning, and it's the first of much more joint training, building upon the already strong relationship of Australia and the United States, as well as ensuring regional stability. Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Darwin, Australia.